Hey everyone, it's Matt from Wise3D. Today we're comparing the Tronxy or Tron XY magnetic build plate versus the uh, same product from Creality. Uh, Creality uh, CR10, we're using the Creality product and we're using the Tronxy product on my ANET A8 Plus. Uh, both are using very similar settings uh, to print mass clips which I donate to our community here in Brantford, Ontario. Uh, 0.2 millimeter height uh, and we're going to take a look at both how they adhere and how easy they are to take off the build plate after they've cooled. So prints are done, let them cool down. They both were both printed with a 60 degree bed temperature and I let them cool down to room temperature. Uh, today I used uh, CC3ID uh, metallic silk uh, silver PLA on the Creality and AMZ 3D which I pretty much is my go-to uh, black PLA on the ANET A8 with the uh, trunk C build surface. So now we're going to look at uh, separation. I've used this Creality build surface for literally hundreds of prints. I don't know how well you can see in the video, but there are indents from printing hundreds and hundreds of uh, these mass clips. I've donated almost 2,000 of them to the community so far. Uh, I know what this is going to be like to separate. It's pretty easy. Uh, the uh, Tronxy build plate is my second print on here. It's the first set of mass clips. So. Uh, we're going to see uh, how that compares to the, to the Creality. So the uh, way I do this is just peel up the edges a little bit on each side and then they become very easy to separate from the center just like that. They fall right off. These, uh, this design is pretty durable, but uh, you just want to make sure you don't rip the uh, center tab backwards while separating them. And just like that. Now, the, like I said, I've never uh, done a batch of the uh, Tronxy ones before, or a batch on the Tronxy build surface, that is. So, we'll see how this compares. Very similar, they pop right off actually even easier separation. I uh, actually bought this uh, because I wanted another one of the Creality ones because I couldn't find any a uh, ANET branded products which I thought would have been cool on my ANET printer. Uh, so I thought I'd give this one a go. It's a little bit bigger, uh, 330 millimeters. Uh, it's actually too big to fit on the CR10 but it fits on the uh, A8 Plus nicely. And uh, I've noticed it seems uh, it's a little bit smoother, uh, a little bit shinier, but like I said, the Creality has been used and abused for, uh, for several weeks. And uh, other than the uh, size, notice their thicknesses are a little bit different, so I'm just going to check uh, what they are. So the uh, Tronxy is uh, it's coming up one and a quarter millimeters, one and a half millimeters. I think it's about one one and a quarter millimeters thick, and uh, the Creality, which is like I said, is well used, is a little bit less than a millimeter, coming in at 0.98 millimeters. Might have started out at one millimeter. Um, so yeah, I'm happy with both. Uh, they are a great upgrade in my opinion. Only thing I can say to look out for while you're using these magnetic build uh, surfaces and uh, you might be able to see some of them here but they do burn very easily 
if you uh, leave a hot nozzle there. Um, some of the marks from where uh, the uh, the printer lays down a skirt or um, where it uh, tends to park itself. You can see little holes burned. I also had a hole burned there in the middle. I know it's difficult to see uh, the lighting here being such a dark surface. I don't really think uh, in a small amount like these they affect uh, usability at all, but uh, it is just something to keep in mind that the uh, the surface is uh, very susceptible to uh, burning from the uh, the hot end touching it. The Truxy build surface fits well on the A8 Plus. It's 330 millimeters squared. It's just over uh, 12 inches squared, and uh, it is actually larger. I, I did trim the. Uh, the, the magnet that goes on the, the build plate there. Um, so this does overhang a little bit, but it is actually a very strong magnet. I don't see any way that uh, that the extruder could pull on that and make it move. So the absolute number one reason for me for switching to these magnetic build surfaces is getting rid of these clips that come with uh, most of these Chinese 3D printers that use the, uh, the glass build plates. They hold it down securely, but they get in the way of these little spouts for your fans. Especially on the Anet A Plus, it's, uh, it's made more than one print fail when this starts getting jammed up uh, by hitting clips and moving around. I do usually fill my build plate edge to edge with uh, mass clips, try and get as many as I can printed. And it is uh, a little bit disheartening when you wake up in the morning expecting to have a batch ready to go and you find that uh, your clips have jammed, it, jammed things up and your print has failed. Remember, wearing a mask is so important these days and these clips have made such a huge difference in so many people's day-to-day -day life that uh, it is just my pleasure to keep printing and donating them. Uh, the masks, when everybody wears them, they stop the spread of disease. It's a no-brainer. The clips keep the bath strings off the ears to uh, make it a little bit less crappy to wear all day. They go on just like this. It's easy as that. Mask strings are off the ears and everyone's safe. So if you'd like to see more, please uh, like and subscribe. I put links to both of the uh, build plate surfaces uh, that I bought. I bought both of them on Amazon. The links are down below. And uh, like I said, like and subscribe if you want to see more videos. Uh, future videos are to include how I built this uh, insulated enclosure for the printers and uh, my own uh, method of, of two-tone 3D printing with a, with a single nozzle. It's my best-selling uh, clip on Etsy, Star Trek mask clip. But uh, that was accomplished on uh, one or both of these printers using only one extruder and I would love to show you how in my next video.